Hi all and welcome back to my channel, that's me again, your great NC in the place to be. Yeah, here I got the PlayStation 3, which has, we can say again, a yellow light of that. Um, this PlayStation was, I think, about two years ago, it was here for repair. I have repaired it and it was running all just perfect. And now the guy told me uh, the PlayStation has, again, we can say, a yellow light of that. So, you have saw my last videos. And you already know about, we can say, uh, this bad neck token capacitors. And on this video now, I'm gonna just do a quick thing with you guys together. We're gonna just open this all and we're gonna just go directly for the neck token uh, capacitors. I'm gonna just change uh, the one that I think that it could be broken to another one. This is, we can say, the same one, but it's, uh, we can say, a working one. Um, and now we will see, we can say, um, this will be a video that you can see if this will be worth or not to repair. So that means we're going to yeah, open this all here. We're going to just replace the, I think, bad one, the bad one um, to this original one that is still working. And then we will have, we can say, a proof um, to see if this test was okay or not if the PlayStation is working already or not. And then um, we will, we can say, um, be able to install, we can say, some great uh, Tantal capacitors where I have shown you also on the other videos. But this will be just a video uh, to see if this will work after we're going to replace this great one here. This one here is still working, I know that. And um, this should work, the PlayStation should work after we're gonna, we can say, replace this one. I just want to know if the PlayStation will work again after that. If yes, this will be a reason for me, uh, we can say, to, yeah, apply some new uh, Tantal capacitors. Okay, so that's why this one, we're gonna put it just away for us later. And now I'm gonna show you that this PlayStation really has a yellow light of that. And um, I don't know if you can see that. Wait. Yeah. Okay, now you can see the lights, it's on standby. Let's just turn it on and you will see what will happen. No chance. Okay. So, um, this can have also a lot of reasons. Um, it can be that it's the problem or we can say the fault from the PSU. <clears throat> I don't think so, because um, normally the PSUs here working really, really long. But yeah, we will need to test this. And um, for now, I just want to do a quick video for you guys. I can see already here is no screw. <laughs> okay, I don't know. Normally all my consoles are closed, but maybe the guy has just also tried to repair something himself. And normally I don't like because uh, we never know what they do. So yeah, let's go here, open that quickly. Oh, here we go. This one, so it's faster. So, I'm really, we can say, curious to see <clears throat> if this will work or not. Looks clean, looks perfect. You can see here, just took out the case from the PSU because the PSUs on these models <clears throat> gets really hot. And yeah, it's great. So, we keep going and just... Um, to see <clears throat> if this will help. If yes, you can go on and replace the real Tantam, um, Tantal uh, capacitors. So this is just a fast video, guys, because um, all the rest I have explained you on my other videos, so I don't need to talk so much. <laughs> just want to keep doing my work. Here we go, here we go, and here we go. So this one is connected here. Let's put it away. Work, always clean. 
and safe well, of course here you can let it disconnect it Let's take this one out here <coughs> I can also turn the PlayStation to you, so you're gonna be able to see more, <coughs> if you like. So, I can let it here. Don't touch the PSU over here, sometimes you will have some rest of voltage and yeah, this is gonna blow your mind. <laughs> Always work safety guys, okay? That's really important. Well, you can let this one here. On some other models, you need to take this one off. Otherwise, you will not be able to take all the stuff together. Let's see if I have. Yeah, I have done it already on this one. Great. Normally, you just need also to open the GPU and um, CPU and GPU holder here, okay? Um, or the clamps. I don't know. I think it calls clamps in English. But on this model, um, I have just done it like that. That I can wait here. Here we go. That I can take uh, easily out. Ta ta! <laughs> yeah, it's my work, guys. See, just perfect. We got here also a fan adjuster. It was made by me long ago. Nice to see that. Yeah. <laughs> so now um, we're gonna just take this off, of course. So, <clears throat> yeah, I need to see later also the battery where it is. You can all, of course, disconnect this one here. So let's do this right now. <coughs> let's put it away. And here, yeah, it looks all good. Still. So. No, wait. Strange sounds over here. Uh huh. That's the next what I will open. show later when you close the PlayStation again go over here on the clamps and just bend them together uh, back again so otherwise you will lose the pressure and your PlayStation cold run hot because it has no real pressure to the we can say um, to the cooler you can see so normally this one here was just like that and you can see here uh, the difference <laughs> so with this one here you will have, you will lose the pressure. So the, yeah, like that. All right. Um, here, this is a G model. Yeah, like a G. So here, <clears throat> let's open it. We need to change this one. Okay. So normally, uh, we don't even need to open all the main board because um, here the chips was already we can say um, open by me. So the Heat spreaders was already removed, but we can take a look just to see. Haha, huh, this is really holding very great still. <clears throat> so let's um, just test. Here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's 
getting open yes let's check it out look at this clean work here guys two years ago or like that it's really still holding like it should be really great pressure on the gpu and cpu you can see the thermal compound was really great so this was not really a problem from we can say the temperature and that's why this is a good thing to test <clears throat> here's the cpu also cut it by me here how, uh, we can say the uh, this is the RSX, you can see here a little bit of uh, fat or how it's called, I don't know, but you can see just wonderful work, okay? Two years ago, I'm happy to see that again, I love it always when uh, we can say a PlayStation uh, comes back to me again, so uh, yeah, good times here. So here, um, battery, don't forget, if we're hitting something up. Uh, you just take off the battery, okay? This can explode on about 200 degrees for 5 or 10 minutes. This battery will blow up. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, now you can put it together here. And um, so, we will go now just today for this one, okay? I just want to test if we will be able to repair this just while we gonna change only this one okay <clears throat> so here i'm gonna put we can say the tree pot to the other side because i need to work with a heat gun right now and then um i need also to take off the chip so wait i need to see that i'm gonna just put this here all together for you guys i need my lovely heat gun <clears throat> so take care of the cable Oh, wait, 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 wait. So, need my flux. <clears throat> I hope you guys can see all. So, this will just be a quick video just to test. Okay, guys, you should do the same here. <clears throat> and also remember on which side the uh, we can say the. Um, Capacitor was, uh, yeah, place it here inside. This is very important. So the letters are here from left to right. And uh, let me see if you can see that all. Yeah, okay, still okay. Yeah. And <clears throat> now let's do this NSC style. <clears throat> okay, let's begin. Again, low fan speed. 380 will just be okay. I need my yeah, this one. <clears throat> and now let's just begin. Wait, wait, wait. Also recommended to give here some flux or flux, just that the neighbor chip will not get damaged also. But maybe we're gonna change them boot because I just want to test if the people will be, we can say, able just to repair the PlayStation with, we can say, an original um, capacitor. So that means, if yes, you can go on and take, we can say, a broken PlayStation Fat Edition and you can take the good working ones and replace it with the bad ones. So guys, need to take a sit. <clears throat> take care also of the other parts. The other SMDs and just take care and all or add all.
Here we got him. I'm gonna now quickly um, install, we can say, the new one as long as it is all, we can say, hot because you already have saw how much time it takes. So now we're gonna just place this here one, uh, this one here. And wait. Yes, something like that. Wait. Okay. I need to stop to drink so much coffee. While you are reflowing, or we can say soldering the new chip, just don't move too fast. It can fly away, guys. I'm not kidding. When the chip begins to move, it will get directly, automatically in the place back again. Yeah, soldering has begun to melt. It looks good. Don't touch the chip now. Just add some flux. But don't touch it right now. And the last time. Okay guys, go up and uh, let it cool down uh, slowly, okay, don't shut off the heat gun so fast, give it a bit hair, uh, a bit warm air, this is okay guys, this is good, and just wait, set it down to 340, heat it a bit up, I hope you can see that all. <clears throat> and um, yeah, set it down even more to 300 or 280 degrees now. Let it cool down with the time. That's very important, guys. I'm going down to 240. And I will move up the heat gun. I will go far away, we can say. I'm gonna take distance now to the main board.
and now I go to 150 degrees One hundred, uh, we can say one hundred fifty degrees is we can say like uh, nearly like a hair dryer, okay? So if you set it to one hundred twenty, it's nearly we can say like a good hair dryer. So guys, let cool down your heat gun, okay? Down cold air now and let it refresh or let it cool down and just then shut it off all right now um yeah we can build it together a little bit we can also first take a look how it looks here um yeah, take care on some, you can say, yeah, the, the flux, the rest of flux, because your fingers will, yeah, be really dirty and it, it will just glue, you see, so, just like glue, just take care, but we can clean this later, I just want to show you now here, wait, my phone is ringing, need to pause quickly, just a second, guys, so sorry, I'm guys, uh, sorry, guys, I'm sorry, <laughs> yeah, uh, let's take this out now, it's still a little bit hot, but yeah, my phone was ringing. I just want um, to show you this right now, that you can see how a perfect work should look like. So wait, let me just move the camera here, so I will be able also to see something otherwise. So here we go. It looks good, guys. Yeah, it it's, it's really laying down on the... On the um, Motherboard like it should be. Wait, I need. Um, I will try to zoom. Super, you guys can see more. And um, yeah, it's real soldered. So okay, no panic on Titanic. It's real soldered. You can clean later. We can say the the rest of flux. Sometimes you just have here. You can clean this all with isopropanol. Nothing is melt. Nothing is exploded. <laughs> Uh, the chip is sitting really great, just like it would be original. Um, yeah, this is, we can say, a newer one. You can see that also already, because, um, yeah, that's also a great information. Wait, 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 wait. I see something. I see something new. So here. Um, you can see we got here some numbers. We got here a uh, 5, or, or, wait, 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 S. Yeah, S6G002270. Uh, and here it's a completely other number. And I think also that these chips here on the G model, they are newer as this one. We can say newer from the fabrication, you know, because the um, PlayStation, the CECHG model is, we can say, newer as this one. This one here, this chip uh, was from a C model or from an A model. But you can see it very great that this chip is another one. Okay, Maybe it's a better one. Who knows? So here you can see also the numbers over here. Um, all is the same. 697. 697 on the end. Here we go again. 697. And here we got 270. Okay, guys, uh, can't wait to test it. And um, if this will work now, then you know that you can now go on and replace this uh, neck token uh, capacitors with the Tantal capacitors. So I'm gonna not, um, yeah, how it calls, I'm gonna not change the thermal paste because this is just a test, guys. So just yeah, 
don't get in panic because this is like a told just a test the motherboard is already we can say cool it down and um, let me not just do here some place here we go all right and uh, yeah now let's begin to close it but we will not close it uh, completely we're gonna just we can say close it a little bit and then we're gonna just test with the PSU if this will work now or not if yes it's great it's a good sign if not we can change the other one and if still not then it's another problem here maybe the PSU or the chips was already again overheating I don't know you need to begin to test somewhere so here we go and now let's get this real close it here like you can see and that's why it's important that you um, get a real great preso bed back again and that's why you can bend it back a little bit just and when you are putting the screw inside you can turn it one time to the left till you hear click you hear that click click that means the screw is inside the cooler and then you can we can say yeah go to the right side and fix the the screws and here don't work with the machine you can work with a machine like this if you want to take out the screws but when you um, yeah bolt all together again the CPU and GPU uh, clamps you should we can say go easy on it here also later you can see it when you will one day replace the Tantal capacitors you can also here go there and you can cut here a little bit more space so this will not disturb but the tantal capacitors they are also we can say if you do a great work they are laying down so it will be all cool all right so the most now is we can say finish let's get back we can say the the fan cable never forget it fan cable very important otherwise it will really overheat something so on this playstation here we got no jailbreak so here is not a custom firmware installed that's why i have done this all with a we can say fan adjuster so let me now just search here for first my uh or we can say the psu I'm gonna connect it and here we go and then connect it here it's just a test now guys just a test so testing 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 here we go let's take this one shut it off yes where's the cable oh wait 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 i think i'm not sure this one no wait so need to take the power cord here we go connect it in be sure that the power switch is off okay yeah important otherwise you're gonna get an electric shock here in germany 220 volts <laughs> till 230 so um it's all inside this is there we don't need this here we don't need the wi-fi card we don't need the blu-ray drive we have done all so here let's go and let's make a test if this is gonna work red light just wait about 10 seconds so the energy and the psu will be we can say full of energy and now let's test the stuff here we go it's working guys <laughs> but now i'm gonna shut it down and why yeah because the thermal compound is just we can say the old one and i have just closed it for the test here you have now the best proof and now you can go on and we can say 
you can now um, <laughs> yeah, go on and um, do the same things that I have done on my other videos before. You can now go on here and replace, we can say, the Tantal capacitors from yeah, AVX or from Panasonic. It's up to you which manufacturer you are going to buy. Um, I have uh, posted on my other videos also, um, we can say a link where you can buy it. And this was now the best proof how you can test if your PlayStation had, has or has had this problem or maybe a PSU problem or maybe the RSX or CPU was too much overheated. But um, you see the work was here just perfect. It was, I think, about two years ago or maybe more, maybe nearly three years. But I, I'm not sure, that's why I, I prefer to say two years ago. Um, and it was a guy that has, uh, it's a really great, uh, great guy. He just found me on YouTube and he asks me if I can repair him the PlayStation. I told him, yeah, well, why not? No problem. And it was a great guy. And he has, um, we can say, contact me again about, uh, I think, one month ago. If I can take a look again on his PlayStation 3, because he has again a yellow light of that. But here you can see it works. You can see the best proof that it's soldered. It's really a nice, perfect work. And uh, yeah, now um, we can, I don't know, we can uh, build all together, go on the TV. Let's go on the TV. I don't know, guys. Have you time to go on the TV? <laughs> we can do that also on the TV, but I need um, to, we can say, add the new thermal compound because I don't like it like that. Um, we can say the thermal compound here is now about two or three years old and uh, I just want to do my work really clean. You guys already know me. Just don't do uh, half things guys, okay? Just work here always clean and uh, do not work uh, just on the half. Give always minimum 100%. You need to give quality guys and not fast fast. If you work fast fast you need to work mostly two times because <laughs> it was just shit yeah guys um, a nice video a nice proof a nice experiment for you guys that you now can see how you should go on, what you should do, and how to begin to test a PlayStation that had a problem just like this one. Um, just nice, guys. Okay. I hope really that you guys enjoy to be on my YouTube channel. You can do this all, not only with PlayStation 3s. You can do this on notebooks. You can do this on computers. You can do this on lots of stuff. And uh, just work clean, just like me, and see in the place to be. <laughs> Yeah, guys, and take care at the small condensators and the small transistors and the small capacitors and the small blah, 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 and the small, small, small. <laughs> yeah, guys, lots of names. And sometimes I get really in trouble with my English. So that's why the most important is that you just take care on the small SMDs here, because when you just take one out, the PlayStation will not work also. Okay, looks good. It's clean. It's just to be, we can say... Uh, nice and shiny and yeah let's take the fan out again from the PCB otherwise we will not be able to take off the PCB so and here we go but it's still still great still great look it gets hard open that means it's a good sign because the thermal compound here is still okay <laughs> all right uh, now let's do this together quickly Just quick, we can say clean that all. I got here also still uh, a little bit alcohol inside this paper, and that's why it's very fast to clean, like you can see. I could also now pause the video, but some of you people's are new here on my channel and you will not believe that stuff and that's why sometimes it's better to let run the video and um, you can see that this is all really 
um, just life we can say. Let me put some more alcohol here on the paper and clean the stuff here around because sometimes you have under there also some uh, rest or flux. And yeah, if you have a lot of them, you can replace them everywhere. But um, I have read on the internet that mostly this one um, that I have made uh, now on this video, this one is mostly, we can say, the one that makes problems. And um, if you have changed this one and you still see that it makes problems, you can go for this one. But um, yeah, you need to work and you need, uh, we can say, to test it for yourself. Um, sometimes this can really be... Wait... This can really take a lots of time. Because you need to test one thing after the other. And uh, yeah, this can take really a lots of time. So I'm going to put this here back. Going to clean. As of now, we can see the heat spreaders. Still fix it here, like you can see. Still great. Yeah, not moving. Nice work. And as long as they are here, still great, fix it. You don't even need to uh, change the thermal compound under there. Because, um, yeah, this is really great. Cool it and um, this makes no problem. I have here, I think I had used it um, MX4. Here I got, oh, I just saw again, some flux from the repair five minutes ago or ten and um, yeah just clean all like it should be you know the people they pay for and um, they just want a great work you know so um, you guys should give them quality so a lot of people's really thousands thousands of people are watching my YouTube videos and they just do the same and then yeah, they, they tell the people that they can repair that stuff, but at last they have just watched my videos and I'm the one that gets nothing for. <laughs> but it's okay, guys, because my favorite thing is to help people. Um, and this is what it makes me to be and see in the place to be. <laughs> yeah, guys, so it's good. It's clean. Take the dust out. Let me search my thermal compound over here. Searching, searching. Here we go. MX4. Guys, give them quality, okay? Don't use some any cheap shit. Give the people's quality and grant guarantee or warranty. So I'm gonna apply here. Just now on my way, the thermal paste. And please don't comment here right now. Uh, you do that wrong, you need to put just the dot inside or pearl. I do that size years and a lots of years just like that. And I, I put everywhere a little bit and I just yeah make the chip full. Sure, sure guys, if I just put a dot inside there, then... Um, can happen that the chip will not be full of or with a thermal compound and I don't like it. Normally you can, we can say put here a line, this will be enough, but I work like that as more than 10 years minimum and I know that this is just working and perfectly. So yeah, I'm, um, I'm very very happy to see this PlayStation again here. In my hands, um, this makes me always very happy because it's worth than when you have work just clean, and when you see that some years later again in your hands, it makes you happy, guys. You know because you know, hey, this was made by me, <laughs> and I see in the place to be. <laughs> yeah, and um, it really, you give always hundred percent or one hundred percent, guys. Please. If you want to be a great guy, a great human guy, then give the people guarantee or warranty, give the people quality. And on my YouTube videos, you can learn already lots of stuff. So here, this chip is full now. 
and uh, just a little bit it's not that much i'm gonna just here put a line a small line i do that always like that see that just to be sure later when this gets together that really everywhere gonna be we can say thermal compound so guys it should be enough and now let's close this beautiful playstation i love the g models because um, they are just easy to open easy to clean and yeah it's great so let me put the camera back again so I will have more place to work myself around here and then we can go to the TV and uh, so the guy that has sent me this PlayStation will maybe also love it to see the PlayStation on the TV on YouTube on my channel <laughs> so why not it's no problem I have nothing to hide so again here bend it a little bit for more or better pressure it's one of the most important thing. So I will tell this guy also to do here a jailbreak because then he can use, we can say, the application Batman mod. But you saw the uh, pen adjuster that I have installed already. It's still working perfect. And this is the most important. A pen adjuster will help a lot to keep the, play the PlayStation cool. And it's very important. A PlayStation without a fan adjuster uh, from Sony, a PlayStation 3 is just the fan is just turning too slow and uh, it's in the background always running hot. That's why I tell you that, guys. If you love your PlayStation, just do all like I have done already on my YouTube videos. So. Click. And here, when you are closing the CPU and GPU clamps, work always, we can say, parallel. Do not just, uh, we can say, um, yeah, screw one screw to the end and then go to the next. No, go here about one, two, three times, like just like me, one, two, three, one, two, three. And here, and here, this one is nearly close. Should be it. Uh, should be now getting. Yeah, now it's close. Let's go over here. Now it's close. And here, and that's most important that it gets really perfectly closed. Okay. So now uh, we need for the TV, of course, our HDD. All right, we need, of course, the PSU, a power cord, and then we can test if we're gonna have some display or not. For the test, this is just enough. You don't need to build all together because maybe uh, this all will not work and you will need to, we can say, uh, take all off again and yeah it's yeah too much time you know so that's why just yeah just listen what I tell you guys we just need now to go for a test and then if all is working you can we can say boot all together like it should be so let me now just quick make some place over there on my TV I need to search the power cord uh, so here I got the power cord already some stuff over here okay we can go on to the TV let's make the, the lights on <laughs> here we go let's connect the fan don't forget about that take care on the PSU and connect the fan very very important otherwise PlayStation will overheat in about three minutes even earlier, about two minutes. <laughs> so wait, because I need to take my my tree pot. So here we go. Let's go to the TV. Yeah. Oh, I hope you guys can see that all still. Let me now just 
um, I need yeah to get up my tripod even more. So here we go. I'm gonna put it here on the side and um, hope you guys can see the now. Here we go. So still see oh yeah. Okay, now I need my HDMI cable. And let's take the one from the from my PlayStation. Oh wait, here it is. Okay. Hope you can see that I all because I have no lights right now on. So here it is. PSO is connected, HDMI is connected. Alright, now we're gonna give you some power. Here we go. Now I'm gonna try that you guys can see the TV and we can say PlayStation. So wait. Alright, now let's make on the TV. Here we go. Cool. So now let's shut on, or we can say power on the PSU. It looks great, guys. I hope I am on the right HDMI. I'm on the TV here. Okay, it's just selected. All right. Um, let's get started. Oh, here, HDMI 1, my fault, ha, <laughs> just perfect, so you can see that, um, I had here, yeah, okay, the battery was off, you can see that, um, I had here just, uh, we can say HDMI 2, and this was, of course, yeah, peace, guys, <laughs> so here, HDMI 1, perfect, it works, like it should work now you can set the time again yeah here the best proof um that the battery was off <laughs> guys you're welcome on my channel and um i hope you subscribe for that all i hope and i wish me thousands thumbs up for that stuff here a great working playstation review it once again with we can say a newer better neck talking capacitor <laughs> But you can see that the capacitors normally are all working great, but when the PlayStation with the time gets hot and hotter and hot, the capacitors of course get broken too because they sit in the near from the CPU and GPU. Okay, and they get really hot. When here all is running hot, the next sitting, um, we can say, components in the near from the CPU and GPU gets of course very hot too. Now let's just make it off. Yeah, guys. Perfect. Got to love it. Okay, guys. Yeah, that was all for me. <laughs> and see in the place to be. I'm gonna keep and close this all together. The guy will be very, very happy to get again his PlayStation, his lovely PlayStation back. And yeah, man, I hope you love it too. And like I told, um, stay tuned on my channel. That was me. And see in the place to be. Bye, bye.